So I think I've decided that I'm gonna start up a cooking channel. Um, I'm not really sure what all is gonna be there, but uh, for this first video, we have a couple of uh, choice uh, ribeye steaks. They're maybe three quarters, of, uh, half an inch to three quarters of an inch thick, nothing special really, but uh, the way that we cook them is what makes them special. These two beautiful ribeye steaks have been cooked at approximately 135 degrees Fahrenheit for about five hours. They're beautifully tender. They are done to a perfect medium. Uh, the only seasonings that I put on these before I vacuum sealed them was ground sea salt, ground pepper, and some garlic powder. I'm gonna add a little bit more sea salt to these just to uh, kick them up a little bit. Next, I'm gonna take them out to the grill and I'm gonna give them a wonderful crust with a propane torch. Ground sea salt has been applied only to one side. They were seasoned on both sides previously before being cooked. And the pad of butter is all natural, 100% butter, not vegetable oil or margarine or anything like that. This is butter. All right, now we are searing with a propane torch, being sure to stay away from the meat, a decent amount of, of uh, space here so that we don't end up with a torch flavoring in the meat. The butter is melting and sizzling and we're getting a good sear on these steaks. Okay, we've charred one side, and man, these smell amazing. That fat starting to render, curl a little bit there on the edge. That one steak, and the propane doing its job. Watch it sizzle up. These are regular choice bone-in beef ribeyes, by the way. There you see the meat changing color, starting to develop a nice crust on the outside. And that's exactly what we're going for. We want to give the meat a nice crust. Okay, we finished searing these steaks and gonna let them sit and rest for a little bit while we make a sauce with the drippings. Okay, now that these have rested a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and cut into them and show, hopefully these came out perfect. Yes, look at that. That is a perfect medium with a nice crust on the outside. Next time we'll use a little bit thicker steaks, maybe go with some uh, New York strip or something like that. A different cut of meat, something that is not bone in and really show that, uh, that beautiful color.